This video is sponsored by Sophos Home. Last week, Parallels officially announced upcoming support for M1 Max with the launch of its new technical preview program. So in this video, I installed the new technical preview as well as a preview version of the ARM-based Windows, and I wanted to share with you some benchmark results as well as some of my very early impressions on how things are running so far on an M1 Mac. Now with all of that said, performance of Windows on an M1 Mac was pretty solid. Keyword was. After about an hour of messing around with the M1 Mac and Windows, the VM started to fall apart. I can't really pinpoint what exactly went wrong, and with all fairness to Microsoft and Parallels, these are preview builds and are not the final product, but it was very concerning just how bad things became. Now, I know some other people have done this and they've had no issues, so it could just be, you know, my specific scenario, but the VM became pretty much unusable. I'd have to reboot constantly, nothing would work, or it would be extremely laggy. I'd constantly get half the screen blocked off, stuck on the start menu, random green reboot screens, etc. I actually spent a lot of my day trying to get everything working for this video properly again that I didn't even have time to film any of this, but I did take screenshots of everything along the way. Fortunately, after some tinkering, I was actually able to get it back up and running at a much more stable manner. And actually, it's been great since then. I don't know what happened. I messed around with a few settings and now all of a sudden it actually works really, really well. It's back to being solid. Enough to where I was able to actually run a few benchmarks that I was trying using the Geekbench 5 app. Now, back when we first got this M1 MacBook Pro, the base model with eight gigabytes of RAM, we ran a Geekbench score uh, to see what the single core and multi-core scores would be, and here you are seeing them right now. This is what it was running on macOS Big Sur. When running Windows 10 VM through Parallels, those scores varied depending on the amount of cores used. Now by default, Parallels only allows two cores, and those speeds were around 1500 for single core and around 2750 for multi-core. That's not great. That puts us at about machines around seven years old, but things do improve quite a bit when adding more cores to the mix. You can just go into settings and the configuration options and change from two all the way up to eight cores. So I switched from two to four cores. And when doing that, we saw a pretty big bump in the benchmark scores, but the jump from four cores to eight cores was barely anything at all. Unfortunately, the MacBook Pro will start to suffer a little bit in performance when pushing this many cores. As you can see here with the activity monitor I had pulled up for CPU and memory usage, things were starting to get pretty heavy under the pressure of running the VM with that many cores enabled. Uh, but I didn't have the fans kick on again, and a lot of it still worked pretty well. So it was really surprising that the rest of the operating system, Mac OS in general, was actually working really well. Now, when you switched over to Parallels, there were some bugs, but you know, overall, it was still pretty impressive to have that level of performance. Overall, the stuff that works on the VM with the M1 Mac works, again, pretty well, but there are just so many bugs and programs and apps that just don't work right now. A lot of the system or pre-installed applications, uh, they start to open up, like the Xbox app, for example, or Paint 3D or whatever random ones I tried to open up. Uh, they start to open up, but then they just never fully make it. They just disappear and they don't show in the taskbar down at the bottom, and I have no idea what happened to them. I have noticed that third-party applications that were either pre-installed or ones that I downloaded, like Geekbench 5, that seems to work just fine, which is strange. But again, preview build, and hopefully this all gets worked out in the near future so that those who wish to run Windows alongside Mac OS can do so inside of Parallels on the new M1 machines. Now, it is important to note that it's not totally clear whether Microsoft plans to actually release an ARM-based version of Windows that can be licensed, but one would hope and assume that they're working on these preview builds, and if all goes correctly, they may in fact do so in the future. But of course, I would love to know your thoughts on this preview of Windows on an M1 Mac via Parallels. And what do, exactly do you guys use Windows uh, on your Mac? How do you guys use it? Because I personally don't have a need for Windows, but I know a lot of people out there do. Is it for work or is it just like a specific app or maybe even gaming that you like to do? Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Now, before we end today's video, I do wanna give you more information about today's sponsor, Sophos Home. 
Sophos Home is security and privacy built for an entire family, regardless if they're Mac or PC users. It utilizes the same award-winning security features that keep Fortune 500 companies safe, stopping malware, ransomware, hacking exploits, and much more. Sophos Home also protects what you do online, keeping web-based banking and shopping safe and secure, protecting webcams, microphones, and even what you type. Sophos Home secures your privacy. And to make all this protection simple, Sophos Home allows you to manage security on up to 10 computers located anywhere in the world via the cloud. It's the best way to digitally protect your family or even your neighbors. And if you want more information about Sophos Home, visit the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.